a second here. That out. <coughs> yeah, there we go. <clears throat> there we go, Bioshock 2. This. No, I'm spelling that. There we go. Yeah, we're playing. We're specifically playing the remastered version, <coughs> which for some reason they added a lovely update where you now have to have a an account. Okay, give me a bloody second here. Some reason the game has its own individual mouse going on here. Bioshock 2 remastered. That's the specific one we're actually playing. Apparently, a mature rated game. I don't think it actually is. I'm not providing anyone with the email address. I'll probably try to lower the volume a smidge. There we go. Yeah, the most recent update to this enhanced edition is now there's a you can link a 2K account to the game, and it's, it's supposed to allow you to access, like, DLC or something like that, but you don't actually need to. We're buying the remastered version of Bioshock 1 and Bioshock 2 gives you access to all those DLCs anyway. All right. Ah. <coughs> uh. with medium see how far we can get with medium oh right and I forgot about all the licensed music that's in this game <laughs> it's just gonna get claimed when I upload it to YouTube yeah we'll watch this part 1958 beneath the Atlantic Ocean about a I think uh, that's like a year or two before the events of Bioshock 1 us. Let's go out to play, Daddy. You play the role of a big daddy. Unlike in the first Bioshock game, where you actually play as some guy who goes to rapture. More angels, daddy. This way. Oof. 
Wind us. He didn't last. Get out of here, freak! There we are. He's perfectly safe now. This is not your daughter. Do you understand? Her name is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head. We're being mind controlled, by the way. Fire. Ten years later. So it should be Despite what that cutscene implied, we're apparently still alive. Ten years to recover, though. Oh, yeah. See, it's, it's a little choppy on the stream. Let's see if I can modify that a smidge. Probably in the gra graphics. <coughs> Maybe drop that an anastropic filter down a bit. There we go, yeah, that, that seems to have done it. Doesn't look as smooth on my end, but... Bunch of pictures of people. Fallen, fallen is Babylon. eyes. So yeah, only weapon we start off with is our trusty drill. Had to get rid of this coral so we can actually get through. Find a spawn getaway. meat and drill fuel. The drill fuel allows us to do that. Oh, I need this. Do you hear me? 
No, I don't hear you. Lamb is watching. Lesson one, mob jockeys. You are under the ocean now. If you feel the soft patter of rain on your hat, you're already fired. Lesson two. You can jumpstart a dead generator with a direct spark, but clear the guests out of the pool first. Scares these rich pricks to watch a working stiff hurling thunderbolts. You follow me? Mm-hmm. You did the family a service. Dying. They huh. this One five four zero. <coughs> Definitely one of the easier key pads to deal with. Didn't even try to talk to that. That, that guy was gonna jump us. Unfortunately. My husband is such a perfect idiot. Throws away all his spending money on gene tonics to affect a look of physical fitness. So he'll have an excuse to sit on his rear all day listening to radio serials. Steven, I tell him, you want to be fit? Come swim laps with me, the old-fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. Get current with Electrobolt. Bolt. Our first plasmid. <coughs> Daddy was sleeping for such a long time. And Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. Ah! Daddy! There, now we can use a plasmid. A signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. Yeah. He's one of the characters from Bioshock 1. <coughs>
fixing a leak. To my daughter, Eleanor. Soon you will be born, and Rapture will be your home. You shall be raised as I was, to advance the common good through social psychiatry. This city's potential is immeasurable, Eleanor. Yet our beliefs are unwelcome here. Life will be difficult, but the price of revolution is always dear. If we are patient with her, rapture will come to us. An Mr. Adam in This is Dr. Sophia Lamb with a message for the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as leader, but as mother to the Rapture family. I am back in Rapture after so many years. The little ones I rescued are grown up and think of me no more. <coughs> after what I once did to them, it was a joy to be forgotten. But now, all around the world, children vanish by the sea, kidnapped. And so I return, in fear of what I already know. Someone is making new little ones, continuing my work, my sins. Even if I am to die for it, I must stop them. There, now we finally have a weapon that isn't a drill. Rivet gun. saw in the sub most of the city's in ruins but there were lights here and there and shapes moving oh, I'm rambling scared I guess but maybe if I find this dr. lamb I keep hearing over the PA I'll find Cindy too There's a big sister. Thankfully, this is a tutorial fight. She's unable to actually kill me. Basically, once once I either do enough damage to her or she actually gets me down to near death, then uh sister yeah we'll be fighting a lot of them throughout the game message for the people remember big sister is always watching 
To steal Adam is to steal from the Rapture family. Your family. Of seeking a respite from my vacation. She deems it necessary to chide me for working. The words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I found it rapture to be free of law and God, to live among those for whom work is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of bearing my child, Until now, I had never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year. Thankfully, we're in a diving suit, so whatever that was supposed to do, it really didn't do much. Other, other than inconvenient, inconvenience us a little bit. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. All right, diary. Last entry. Lizzie and I, we found a sphere, and we're going home. Ain't that right, baby? Next stop, topside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. It was you who saved us, Sammy. It was you, Button. I was... What was that? What's that sound? She's seen us. It's Lamb. Torpedo! Ah, I'll try to... Ah! Ah! Yeah, they didn't get far. If you remember Bioshock 1, here's the here's a chunk of the airplane that uh, fell at the beginning of that game. <coughs> I 
This turn, we'll see the rest of the city. One with a giant squid. sister again. That was the first level of the game. Now for the second level. <coughs> or you could consider this the first level while that one was pretty much just a tutorial. Ah, Herr Delta. Bruh. You arrived Bruh. as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. Get him before he goes. <laughs> Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. And we get our third weapon of the game. Not technically a weapon, though. <coughs> the hack tool. Allows us to do long distance hacking. Hacking is a crucial part of the game. Don't actually have to hack a whole lot of stuff, but it is needed for some progress. There, now we have a sentry. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. 
this the state censor, I wonder? Wartime seizure of private assets? Or the Cheka police vanishing them in the night? Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. Fine. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. I know you. That symbol on your hand marks you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta, since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain, paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. It is Sophia Lem. She has found you. Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lem. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Careful, security cameras belong to Lamb. But if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. It's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, 
Find me. And now we have telekinesis. Throw objects at bows. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. Giving us free food. That's not food. <laughs> Those are fireflies. Diary. Want to play? Actually, I'm quite busy right now, Miss Eleanor. Maybe later. Well, all right. But do you mind if I take you apart while I wait? I promise I'll put you back together. Wait! You can't do that! No! Wait! Back <laughs> Garden full of cutesy little brats, and went up happy ever after. He was pansy. End of story. He's gonna give a half a squirt when he's done. He's gone now, and Doc laughs the news. They're talking about the the player character from Bioshock One. Oh God damn it! It's Sentry got in the way. Look at this. Oh, that's because you came up here. Way too much damage than I'm supposed to be at this point. Hmm.
these people are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called Adam. I've read the word splicer scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me and Christ his face. I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere, we both heard this singing. And he took off like hell on wheels. It sounded like a kid. A little girl. Cindy's alive, I know it in my gut. Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny. One you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, fits of panic, sexual pathos. All responses to ancient selection pressure. The irony 
is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain. Elevator. Said hurry, but we can take our sweet time. what the children tell me. You are a very old big daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. If we don't we'll fall into a coma and die, and we don't want that. <coughs> Trap rivets. <laughs> Dr. Siu Chong's death was a nasty blow to the protector program, but I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again. But I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight. 
like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more, something stronger, an unbreakable physiological bond. Here, in the ticket booth. Press the button so we can speak face to face. You see? This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for... for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins and the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk... Citizens, Citizens of rapture. rapture. This, this is, is Subject, Subject Delta. Delta. Behind, Behind that mask hides an enemy of the people, people. Without, without soul, soul or, sympathy. or sympathy. It is, it a, is beast a beast apart, apart. And, and as, as family, family, we must tear out, tear out its jaw, jaw and drive it back into the sea. sea. Lem will take this place apart to fight you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. Thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this, but there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta, and good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport. Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Lamb has taken the rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure, and though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lamb. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Quick save here. to the third area, third level of the game. <laughs> or technically the second, I guess. Probably better to call it the second level. Whoa there. Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. Thankfully we don't actually have to do anything. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor, loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. Cloud! Fucking cloud! Ah! Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. First weapon upgrade station. <coughs> Ellie's work is that you can get one of two upgrades for your current weapons. And if you get both upgrades, then you can get a third upgrade. But you only get one upgrade per, per machine, and there's not enough machines to upgrade everything. So you gotta be, you gotta, 
got to choose what you what you really want <coughs> Of a damage increase on the rivet gun. Doesn't hurt to be able to do more damage, especially this early in the game. I was hired to engineer a part the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Can I come up to play again, Mr. Peter? Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard <coughs> whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. There's our fourth weapon of the game. A machine gun. Listen up! Choppers! Get yourself tib! No fuck ups this time! Caddy's home! Take aim! Fire! Oh, oh, am to God. Leave them at least! Why do you hide from nice. salvation? You think I was dropping on? I deserve respect! All I this do. crap Stop in my way! Stop ignoring it! Ah. I got down the train, my man! Ah. Just try! Oh, save me, old horn! You... In hindsight, we could have saved that, uh... <laughs> That weapon upgrade machine for our new gun. I feel having a damage increase on one of the weapons would probably be a lot more helpful. <coughs> yeah, it's sort of weak. It gets better over time, though. I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please, enjoy the park. Our first Jean Tonic. Sports boost. We move slightly faster. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympia. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. The state-of-the-art submersible platform, nicknamed the Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. After initial supplies have been brought to the seafloor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected couch. <laughs> unexpected couch. at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of Rapture, 
Workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. Supposed to be a last one, but as you can see, it's been destroyed. <laughs> third grade class but boy I had no idea what I was getting into volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan amusement Donnie Donnie get down off that exhibit and I told you spit out that gum you'll choke <sighs> the kids parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's but I'm at my wits end Donnie I told you your kind and welcome here <laughs> He won't listen! I didn't even ask him my for his, my fortune. That's terrible. You can only have one sink going at, at a time.
squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. I hear a Each of us has a moral duty to increase the common joy and ease the common pain. Alone, we are nothing. Mere engines of self-interest. Together, we are the family. And through unity, we transcend the self. <clears throat> Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. Another tonic. Drill power. Now our drill does more damage. <coughs> In ethical psychiatry, we must account for... Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mom says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog eat dog. I wanted to see these dog eaters, so I waited until Mom was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Fight our first big daddy. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, <coughs> you gotta put the old boy down for good. Set up a little perimeter. Smoother than Take last a breath, time. <laughs> son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Daddy, you always save me from the monsters. We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. I found one of those children at last. Filthy dress, all alone. I approached her, praying that it was my little girl. But she was 
gorging herself on blood from a corpse. It wasn't her. I stared, just, just reeling. And then that skinny, armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped, but could Cindy have become one of those things? I've got to find her, now more than ever. I don't think I've ever played a mech warrior game. There must be, must be something beyond. And the lamb, the lamb will stop. It's dancing, Daddy, dancing. No, we still got some time. Save. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. Just put her right down on that corpse. I will as soon as I get some of these traps set up. The splashes off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt.
He's nicer than other dads. Now you know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. Doing that's supposed to get you an achievement, but I already got it. Eternity be hot or cold. I wonder. I'll bring my shawl. The beast and the false prophets were cast into the lake of fire. I heard that.
And now he would have to kick his or his all PvP, yeah. On the surface, the farmer tills the soil, trading the strength of his arm for a home and lands of his own. But the parasites say no. What was yours is ours. We are the state. We are gone. We demand our share. Family's natural. You gotta fight just to do nature down here. I make it. Numbers, you fucking machine. Oh, daddy, wait here. There we go. Just turn down the music for a smidge until that... Until that particular song's done and over with. <coughs> Not that there's a whole lot of music in this game. I've been rationing my supplies ever since the park got cut off from the rest of Rapture. Gotta stay strong. I'm holed up in this workshop surrounded by those wailing brats trying to beat their way in. They want my food, my guns. They want it all. But I got a plan. I'm gonna fix up the transport subs that's been rusting in the maintenance bay. Then I'm gonna get the hell out of this hole. These animals want rapture? They can have it. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. My soul. Oh, my father. That child, you monster. You are actually walk right into that group, but it happened. Are we going to be together again, Dad? All right, Chief. We've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. 
There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. <clears throat> I could teach him about girls, and then I'm just going to be innocent. and swallow the council house before they realize they've been had. I will not have my city swindled by the parasite, whatever its guise. It is time, I think, to call Sinclair. <laughs> But I'll not beg. I'm above it. I'll not beg. Hello? Is someone in the hall? Oh, hand that child, you monster. Yes, run. Rapture is a paradise of the ego, Eleanor. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But truth, rather, is in the body. Already they grow weary of struggling against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent back, the drawn faces. Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task. To answer. On the surface, the scientist invests the power of his mind in a single miraculous idea and naturally begins to rise above his fellows. But the parasites say no. Discovery must be regulated. It must be controlled and finally surrendered. strives to frame his ideals in an image, to challenge his audience and make his vision immortal. <laughs> <laughs> 
but the parasites say, No! Your art must serve the cause! Your ideals endanger the people! <laughs> its own ingenuity. The parasite fears the visionary. What it cannot plagiarize, it seeks to censor. What it cannot regulate, it seeks to ban. Rapture was founded on an idea, and here they are held inviolate. Here's our shadow. A very rare, realistic jumping. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human against you. <laughs> You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls <laughs> will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. for the game's moral choice. It basically just summarizes it up. You can either choose to rescue or harvest a little sister. If you harvest her, harvest her, you'll get a lot of Adam, but she'll die. But if you rescue her, you get less Adam compared to harvesting. But for every three uh, little sisters you rescue, you get a, get a nice little present which has like more atom special plasmids and usually some rare uh, uh, ammo as well. Better ending if you rescue? Yes, that, that too. If you, if you rescue all the little sisters, you'll, you'll be almost guaranteed the uh, best ending. So I'm not a, <coughs> I'm not a meanie, I rescue them. They even say thank you. Well, our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability. But you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. That's... Oh, yeah, probably should. 
I'll let you consider wrapping this up at this point. It is starting to get late for me. Just gonna fight through a little wave of splicers. Do four more hours. If I didn't have work tomorrow, I probably still wouldn't. <laughs> if I didn't, if I didn't have work tomorrow, then I probably could go an extra hour, but. But not today. Right around here probably would be a good stopping point. Not only do we still have a little bit of this area to explore, but <coughs> we also have a boss fight to deal with, too. We'll save that for some other time. So yeah, there's another playthrough of Bioshock 2. I did I did play this previously on stream like a couple years ago, so it's not the first time I've played Bioshock 2 on this on stream, but lately I've been feeling like playing it over again, so there it is. You do remember that? That's good. That's good to hear. <laughs> so anyway, that's gonna be the end of the end of the stream for tonight, because it, it is getting late for me and have work tomorrow unfortunately uh next stream uh is probably going to be this coming sunday um i'm not sure what we're going to play on that uh particular sunday yeah i'm not, not sure yet well i mean yeah they, like the only games we have going at the moment are star ocean second story r mario rpg and uh and uh, now about bioshock 2 well we also got cult of the lamb as well but uh yeah Basically, just juggling those four games, so I'll probably pick pick some combination of those, and we'll do that for Sunday. And as usual, I'll have my schedule up on the uh, Discord once I see my work schedule, so, so that way I'll announce whatever days I'll actually be able to stream. Uh, do stick around, though, because I would like to send you guys out on a raid. <coughs> and I feel like raiding my friend Jim Appel Fendi. She's doing a stream right now, and she's uh, she's playing Lethal Company, which is a interesting little indie game that recently came out, where you play as a play as a a group of four uh, scavengers of sorts, and you go to like various moons and try to scavenge scavenge scrap to sell back to a company, and you have to meet a certain uh, quota every time. I, I recently did get that game and played it a couple couple times with some friends and it's a it's a funny little game so yeah we're gonna we're gonna raid uh fendi hopefully i'm hopefully i might be able to actually join in on them on their little thing but i'm not sure what the what they're doing at the moment but yeah there's the raid feel free to join in the, in on that i'm sure she'd appreciate it but you don't have to if you don't want to so again, uh, next stream will probably be this coming Sunday. Uh, I'll announce whatever is going to be playing, whatever we play on that on the Discord. And uh, yeah, that's all that I have to say. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have all get all have a good night. Hope to see you guys on Sunday. And please enjoy Jim Appel Fendi. <laughs>